How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? The only way to make real money in trading is to and it was a sell on US 30 and we hit take profit for so we made 200 points and then overall broke towards the downside. What I want to explain with this is why I entered the trade where I entered the trade. Let me know when you guys are ready. I, I could start with an old fashioned. It's about to be five. We're gonna head upstairs and go over a few things. Cheers. How's everyone doing? Uh, today we're gonna get on a Zoom call and go over pre-market uh, evaluation, which is just basically going over my results of this week and going over what we could have done better. We're gonna go over when were more breakouts occurring. We're gonna go over a lot of different things that everyone should be doing before they go into a new week of trading. It's just basically re reviewing the past week of trading, right? So. Let's get into it. Um, also, G Fuel for all my gamers. Incredible energy drink. So we're gonna go into the chart. We'll go into the 20 minute time frame. Move, okay. So, um, the first thing we wanna look at is understanding what the market is currently doing. So the first thing I'd like to do is we're gonna, actually we're gonna go into the chart up here, right? We're gonna look at a chart up here, US 30. Boom, boom. And the first thing we're gonna do, right, is go into a 20 minute, 30 minute chart. Depending what chart you like, you will go into that chart. The first thing I like doing is actually drawing a trend line, right? And understanding what the market is currently doing, right? So right now we have a huge gap in the two moving averages, which is 50 and 13. So we understand that the market's moving towards the upside. We also have a simple higher high, higher low type of formation. It's, you know, higher high, right here, higher low, higher high, higher low, et cetera, et cetera, right? It's not perfect, keep in mind, it's not perfect. But as we understand, the market's moving towards the upside, right? And right here from this period, this huge wick, you can see that the market came down right here and wicked off this wick, right? So moving towards the market in its current state, the 15 minute chart, what we could expect tomorrow on Sunday is, is this market right here to probably break towards the downside, right? And the reason why is because all this momentum that it's carrying towards the upside, it's gonna start to lose the momentum, break towards the downside, which if it does break, we could expect, you know, 200 points, 150 points, while risking only 40 points, right? It's a good one to five risk to reward. And that's the overall trade we could expect, right? Tomorrow when the market opens. But so far, what we're gonna do is um, get on Zoom and get everything set up so everyone can uh, pop on. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? So, what's up everyone? This is the last minute call. And basically in this call, I'm just gonna be going over um, how I did this week, my evaluation. So what I like to do on Saturdays as a trader is review what I do um, my past week to overall determine how my future week is gonna look like, right? So right now what I'm currently doing um, as far as for trading is I'm managing a lot of money through FTMO. I'm also managing money through Liquid, which is, you know, whole cash. And the number one thing I want to tell you guys about managing money is that the only way to make real money in the industry is to manage multiple six and seven figures in the industry, right? The only way to make real money in trading is to manage money, right? Or develop a source of income where you raise up 100K and turn the 100K into X amount, right? So let's get into this. And I'm gonna start to explain two of my trades of last week and why I entered those trades, right? So I'm gonna share my screen through my uh, setup here. And we're gonna go on to this right here. We're gonna go into Telegram and review the trades that I had this week, right? So we're gonna go here, go to Telegram. This is the VIP channel for everyone who might ask or anything. So this is my first trade right here, where this was on the 9th, March 9th and it was a sell on US 30 and we hit take profit four, so we made 200 points, right? So right now what we're gonna do is go to March 3rd, the time is 2.19 p.m. So we're gonna go here, 
go to March 3rd, right? And I'm gonna delete all this stuff, right? So you guys can see a really good screen. And we're gonna go to March. Boom. March, uh, where's my screen? Cool. So right here, March 9th, we're gonna go to 2 p.m., right? So March 9th. Right? So check this out right here. We're in, we're gonna go into a lower time frame, the 10 minute time frame, right? We're gonna go back to March 9th. And the first thing I wanna explain to you guys is overall catching a momentum or catching a move, right? So right here, what you guys could see is that the market broke towards the upside, right? Let me draw it out for you guys. Market broke towards the upside, right? Change the color in this. Cool, so right here, we're gonna go, it's gonna, the market went upward, guys. The market went down, then it just consolidated. It got to this period right here where it broke towards the upside, and then it hit this resistance period right here, and then overall broke towards the downside. Now, what I wanna explain with this is why I entered the trade where I entered the trade, right? So, as a trader, I like to trade two specific times, right? I want everyone to pay very close attention to the times that I'll be trading. I like to trade at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Eastern time, I always like to trade because if we look right here, right, and we look at nine, right, we see consolidation, consolidation, consolidation with the candles, and then we see volatility, right? My second favorite time to trade is 12, right? 12, and then my third favorite time to trade is two, 2 p.m., right? And the reason I like trading at 2 p.m. is due to the volatility that the market presents here. Right, so the signal when we go back to it, right? We're gonna go back to Telegram. We have so many screens here. We're gonna go, where's my Telegram? It's not popping out. And then let's go over the first trade that I had this week, right? So March 9th, right? And this is the first trade. The trade, I send it at 2.20 p.m., 2.19, right? So we're gonna go back to the chart and go to 2.20, right? We're gonna go into this chart right here. Right, and we're gonna go right here, right? 12, then we go all the way to one, which is 13, then we go to two, right? And as you can see, the first thing I waited for was a volatile break, right? So I send the signal at 220, right? And when we draw this out, check this out, right? My signal almost hit stop loss, and then overall I hit take profit four, which was 200 points. Now, the first thing I wanna demonstrate with this is momentum in market conditions, right? The first reason I entered this trade at two was overall this reason right here. If we draw a simple resistance line, we notice that it's respecting resistance, right? The second thing I wanna talk about is how the market was moving up and down, but check this out. In this period right here, right, the market consolidating in this zone right here, right? After the volatility occurred, you see that the market broke out of the zone, right, which resembles a breakout, and then from that breakout had a resistance period where it resisted the higher high and came down, right? From that breakout towards the downside, it had a retracement. So if we were to go here and draw out a Fib retracement, from this period to this period, you could see that it retraces off. Let me draw this in a white color for you guys. You can see it retraces off exactly 0.38 to 0.50. And from that retracement level, the market breaks down, right? So with just a very simple, com com uh, I'm sorry, with a very simple confirmation of a resistance period, I went in this market. The settings behind this were me knowing exactly when the volatility was gonna occur, which is around 2.30. All right, so we'll go here, you all, right? So the second trade that I entered, right, which we're gonna review it right now, we go here to Telegram, is gonna be on the next day, right? On March 3rd, I mean on March 10th, my bad, right? I went in for a buy on US 30, and the trade happened at 9.30 exactly, and I'm gonna show you why it happened at 9.30. So we go back here, right, and we go to March 10th, Right, and then check this out. Right here, at 9.30, I went exactly in for a buy. Because we can see that the market is just consolidating, right? It's moving towards the upside, 
you get me? But it's mostly consolidating, right? And what I wanted to enter with this market was the volatile point, right? The point of volatility, right? And if we check this right here, right? Where we grab this, right? If you look at this right here, look at the time, 9.30. At 9.30 exactly, the market broke towards the upside. And this is where I overall caught, right? 200 points in the market. We'll go here, press uh, cross. This is where I overall caught 200 points in the market, right? Very simplistic trade. Now, the reason I went in here was very simple, the volatility, right? If we go back and go towards the 10, right? The reason I went in this trade, we'll go to 9.30, right here, was very simplistic for the volatility that's presented to the market, right? When you guys are trading, the number one key in trading successfully is two things, right? In my opinion, it's two things, right? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so you guys can see. The number one thing, right, in trading a successful 100K, 200K account is understanding your risk, which is, you know, incredibly important. But the number two thing, I think people really neglect it, which is overall understanding where you're gonna enter the market and where you're gonna exit the market, right? How many of you guys know exactly where to enter the market and where to exit the market, right? That is such an important key factor because you guys are gonna notice a lot that you guys will enter the market, right? You guys will be on a red screen, which means you'll be losing money and you'll hold on to the trade when you shouldn't hold on to the trade. Or vice versa, you guys are gonna enter the market, be on a blue screen and close out the trade too early, right? So what I'm trying to say by this is, if you have a winning trade, and you see that there's momentum behind the trend or behind the movement, hold on to the trade, right? If you guys have a losing trade and you see that there's going to be an overall, you know, continuation and momentum towards the losing side, just close out the trade earlier, right? So, um, I have a bunch of people texting me right now. So, let's go back into this chart so you guys can check this out. Go here. So, here's what I mean by momentum. If this breaks up towards the upside and then breaks down and then starts to break up, you could easily understand that the, mo the momentum is pushing the trade towards the upside, right? Once the momentum pushes a trade towards the upside, it's very simplistic to understand what the trade is gonna do. So the first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is knowing how to enter a market with retracement levels, right? Knowing how to enter a market with retracement levels. So what's a good um, idea for this? Let's say you, you're gonna catch a trend, right? Or you're gonna catch a market, but you miss the move. Once you miss the move, your go-to thing should be retracement levels. You're gonna see where the market is retracing from so you could enter on the retracement level and catch the overall trend. So here's a good example of this, right? If we go on to March 11th and we go on to 9.30, you see here at 9.30 the move broke towards the downside, then broke towards the upside, and right here around 10, it broke down, and around 10.30 it broke up. So right here is a good example of using a Fibonacci retracement level to understand the retracement period. Based off the retracement period, depending on what period you like to go in for, my preference period is the 38 to 50. The reason you always wanna go in based off a retracement level is because if you have a trend occurring and the trend is gonna have a pullback or gonna have a retracement period, the retracement periods or points is one of the best indications of where to enter the market, right? Another really good indication of where to enter the market, guys, is if we bring this chart back, right? Let me accept these people in. If we bring this chart back and go all the way back here, right? Check this out. Look at my moving averages, which I'm gonna draw a different color. Is there anywhere that you guys see a crossover uh, about to happen? There's no crossover about to happen. So if we play it, check this out. The market will move down. There you see a small crossover, but look how wide the gap is. What you wanna focus in is the gap, right? Because if you see a gap getting bigger and bigger and bigger in a moving average, that means that there's going to be a continuation in a trend, right? And that's what you wanna really look at, right? And now everyone's calling me, man, right? So based off that, right, which is the gap in the moving average, you would go into the market as well. It's just different confirmations. Oh shit, 
Dude, Julian, funniest shit ever. It was muted. The whole call was muted. Everything I just said, no one heard. Oh my god, no wonder everyone was hitting me up. I'm like, why are people hitting me up so much? I want to see people's reactions. Guys, I am so sorry. I enabled the chat box for you. Do you guys want to write anything down or anything like that? I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's laughing right now at this period. Bro, right? So everyone's much. cracking the fuck up, bro. I've been explaining shit for 20 minutes. And everyone's like, I couldn't hear shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. The good thing is, guys, we got it all on YouTube. Right? So this video will be out on YouTube for everyone. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, guys. So... This is the first time I make a pool in the car with the top off, so... Uh, that's pretty much concluding today. Uh, super amazing day. Got a lot of content out there and also did an amazing Zoom call. So that's pretty much it for today. Peace and love.